Hey viewers, today I'm going to go ahead and replace this bike chain. I'm going to show you how. First, I'm going to show you why I'm changing it. Uh, the chain is worn, so I got a chain gauge here. It's a Park Tool CC3. Um, if you go ahead and put this part over here, this part should not go down. It should catch on that link there. And this is uh, 0.75, and I believe that's uh, percentages of like uh, wear. Um, so like that, flip that over. 1% and that still goes through. I mean that is just and it's still really loose there. So this chain is just extremely worn. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this. Now I need to remove the old chain and so what I'm gonna use is a tool called a chain break tool and it's gonna push one of these pins out. Um, this is kind of a normal uh, home type use tool. It's a uh, park tool CT5. And it works, but I've got this here, and this is a uh, Park Tool CT 3.2, and this is a uh, shop grade type tool, and so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. It just makes it with this big handle here. It just makes it easier to torque the pin down. Now it's got like a little uh, part here, which th th I'll fit that right over that, and it'll it'll hold the uh, little link there, the little uh, rivet part centered. And then I'll just tighten this down until it hits that. And just tighten this down and it'll push the pin out through the other side. There. Then I can just back this out. Like this. And pull the chain apart. Now I can just pull the old chain right out here like this and pull it out through here like this. And there's the old chain there. Now I have a brand new chain and when you're buying a new chain you want to make sure that it's going to fit the bike uh, you have. This is a uh, well it's a uh, 21 speed so there's uh, seven uh, cogs on the back there and so you want to make sure that this will fit your setup so it's right there is 21 speed so this is good for uh, seven speed uh, freewheels. Now the new chain is going to be longer than the old chain and I'm going to have to cut it down but before I do that let me show you here this the uh, chain is made up of outer plates and inner plates and so each link has one part here that's made up of the inner plates and one part made up of the outer plates and since I broke it right here both ends there's one end that has the outer plates one part that has the inner plates and so these went together with the pin right through that the new chain is going to end both ends with the inner plates like this and then there's a master link part that goes between it which makes up the two outer plates i'm gonna have to cut the new chain to be the exact same length as, as this chain minus the two outer plates here okay I've, I've put a uh, paper clip through the uh, two uh, little links at the end with the, uh, the inner plates here to kind of hold them even. So as I hold the two chains together, you could just count the individual links through that, but if you just kind of hold them side by side, um, you can kind of find the two ends. Now keep in mind, the old chain here is worn, and so as it gets down farther and farther, it's getting longer and longer than the, um, like that, so that the, the links aren't quite matching up anymore. So you want to make sure that uh, you keep them sort of together with the inner plates and outer plates kind of matching up. And get down here and get to the end and right there so this right here is where I want to go ahead and break the chain and double check measure uh, twice cut once you don't want to like mess up here so I've got uh, three outer uh, links here so there's like uh, one two three uh, three full uh, links here so go ahead and double check that again come down you can also lay these on the floor, but I'm outside, the ground's dirty, so I don't want to get the new chain 
dirty at this point. So that matches up there. And again, three full links. So what I'm gonna use is my chain break tool here. Slide this right onto there like that. And I'm leaving it so that the, I'm gonna have a uh, link with the uh, inner plates at the end here. And press this out. And see, you can see that the uh, pin coming out there. Like that. And there's the extra chain there. Now before I put the chain on, uh, you'll find it the easiest to shift to the smallest uh, chain ring up front. So I got that and shift it to the smallest cog in the back, like that. Okay, so I've got the new chain here. So what I'm gonna do is feed it through the front derailleur and just guide it over the small chain ring there. Then take the other part of the chain here, feed it over the smallest cog on the, the, the freewheel there. Bring this around. It's going to fit over the guide pulley there. And be aware if there's any tabs on the uh, little uh, derailleur cage. There's a tab right here, there's a tab down here. So this has got to go through that. Let me see here. Da, 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 da. And. Da, da, da. Keep it on there, like that. And then it's gonna go down through this here. So it kind of goes here, sort of an S pattern here. And make sure it goes through there nice and smoothly. So now I have the two ends of the chain here like this. Now these KMC chains come with something called a missing link. It's basically this two little part, two little pieces here that replace one of the outer plate uh, sections of the chain. Um, Shimano makes one where uh, instead of replacing that, you put these together and then you just push in a new pin so that you would end up with outer plates on one side, inner plates on the other, and uh, then use a uh, chain brake tool to press the pin in and break it off. But um, I, I like these KMC chains with this little mis missing link thing here. Now how this works is you just take one of the little parts here, it fits through this link over here like this. And you take the other little part and it's going to fit through the link like that. Now you bring these two together and these fit through like that, so that the uh, little pin fits through this side, this pin fits through that side, and then you just pull them apart, and then they lock right in there. And make sure that they're locked nice and in there, and they are. There. And now this bike has a brand new chain. That's how e easy it is to install a brand new chain like that. Um, anyway, I hope you found this video useful or interesting. If you have, please click the like. I always like getting likes on my videos. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. There's a big yellow button down here. Click on that and subscribe to my channel and you'll see new videos as they come out. Anyway, I hope this helped. Thank you for watching.